We want to take a look at the uh, Linksys MR 9600 router and basically what I want to show you is the new setup that they have on their uh, routers. This is just a quick look at the actual uh, router software so I'm not going to go too in depth on a lot of things but anyways this is what the router looks like and you can definitely go on the bottom here and look at all the specs yourself. I'm not going to go through each one of those because I just want to show you the um, what I've been going through setting this up and I had some issues where it keeps losing the signal uh, as soon as I got it, it I set it up through the app which is what you need and everything went fine but then I noticed I was getting some error error messages when I was trying to for example just change my uh, Wi-Fi password so one thing I found out is that you have two versions of this <coughs> uh, router so if we go to downloads you'll see version 1 and version 2 what I think that's referring to because it's the only thing I can think can think of right now is that when you actually uh, run one here let me go back when you actually look at this routers there are two routers you have the 9600 and the Pro E6 and I think that may be the second uh, version just because of they look similar and those are the only two there so just keep that in mind and from reading the uh, instructions if it doesn't have a version on the next to the model number it's version 1 if it's version 2 it'll probably just say version 2 next to, to the model number so with that in mind let me uh, take a look at the errors that I was having let me show you that in a second here so as you can see when I was trying to go into the Wi-Fi settings of my router and this is the default IP just like any other router I was getting this in this expected error 2288 every time I tried to go into the other tabs I couldn't do it um, I tried to go on the Linksys uh, chat and I was waiting there were two people ahead of me but I decided to just keep going and so I went ahead and uh, let me get rid of this anyways I'll uh, edit that I guess uh, so going back to the video here I got the error messages so I decided to just go ahead and reset the router since he had already um, upgraded the uh, firmware so this is what it looks like right here and as you can see I just call it testing uh, for the Wi-Fi settings but let me go through this so this is once you log into the router this is what you'll see uh, so if you go to the router status let me just start from the left here so this is pretty much everything on the router right here I do have a hard drive on there as you can see an external hard drive through the USB 3 port and before I forget I should mention that there, that's one of the other reasons I got this particular router because it has a U, two USB ports but my old Asus router the way that was set up is that you had to go and log into the router every time you wanted to create a folder and then you would go and get your files in there it was just painful uh, this router however it's much nicer in that you set the uh, uh, the uh, external storage as an SMB, and here let me click on it. And basically, you can put a password on it if you don't want just anybody on the network looking at it. But if not, then you can just go to File Manager uh, backslash backslash, and then the IP address of wherever your router is, and then you have access to your um, to your drive and you can actually make folders from within the uh, what do you call it within the uh, file manager so you don't have to go back into the router and 
give those permissions there and make a folder there which is just annoying I don't know why that was set up like that and uh, I also noticed that the new Asus routers were set up the same way with the same software so that was one of the reasons I changed routers the second one was that their AI security software that you're looking at or that they have was actually opening my FTP ports and all that instead of leaving them closed every time I would uh, close them and then if I turn that on that software was just turning things on that I want it off so and obviously the router is old there's no more updates on that one for some reason I don't know what happened there um, so it was time to just change on that router because I was having some issues on it so this is why I'm here so let's go back and take a look at this one here so we have a device list to begin with and as you can see you have one computer here you have an Android phone uh, printer and then Roku and whatever is connected it will show up here not, not everything's connected but just to show you you do have a guest network if you want to uh, set, up, set that up so let's go to guest network or guest access and this is what you get you can name it whatever you want so that's just the default thing you'll see you turn it on here uh, as you can see so that's pretty straightforward parental controls you do have some parental controls but not too much as you can see it's just restricting your access on whatever device you want and you can block the uh, internet so it's very straightforward I don't know I mean it's either all or nothing I guess um, and then you can I'm not sure if you can do specific sites because I can't type anything there so uh, let me see what I turn on nope that doesn't change but uh, I haven't played with it much I mean maybe once you drop something on there no actually it won't do it let's see, let's see. okay so once you click on it then it'll let you do that all right so skip that let's go to the priority yeah can't talk so hot okay um so turn it on got priority here you can just drag and drop what you want to be as your highest priority right there boom and then just drop everything else i guess so that's pretty much it on that all right let's check out the settings here wireless WM support no acknowledgement okay so that's all you get there and that's pretty much everything you get on the priority team. speed check this is actually a pretty cool uh, setup on this router you don't have to go on the website and check anything they actually have it within the router so these are the results of my connection um, I'm not gonna do it because it takes a little bit of time it's not that much but it's still so uh, it's not it's a basic uh, internet so you don't have a lot going on here which is fine for what I'm doing so external storage there we go I know I went through this but as you can see it's a 400 gigabyte hard drive and this is just for moving all the uh, videos that I am editing or doing and, and I moved them into the drive just to keep the those big files of the uh, computer of the uh, laptop so that's why I wanted to use that um, I only have one drive I'm debating whether to just use some the NAS or this but right now it's one drive and now let's go to the router settings connectivity So here's what you get. You get an admin password, no password hint. Uh, again, I just reset the router again, and then now it's allowing me to look into other tabs. This were, were these tabs were fine. I can always look at them here, but this is what you get. So sorry. Right. So it seems more simplified, if you will, than most other routers I've seen. 
So we'll leave that alone. And then we'll go to troubleshooting. Here you just get a lot of log. So that's that. Uh, Wi-Fi settings. So let's look at this. So obviously here I just have the, that set up for testing. Uh, the problem before was I couldn't change or look at this tab. So let's take a look now. So this is what the Wi-Fi would be. Obviously that will get changed after I'm done with the video, but this is uh, Mac filtering because he won't let you unless you actually change it. And I did. Uh, wait, this is it? Nope. So advanced, you get airframes, uh, boost overall network speed by reducing traffic jams caused by slower devices, client steering, dynamic frequency, and you can read that. Uh, node steering is on, client steering is on. Um, the other reason I reset the router was because it did update the firmware as I've mentioned and now it seems to be not dropping the signal that's bad uh, whereas before so let me see what's in here security so you just get your basic uh, check checks here DMZ apps and gaming uh, this is very limited as you can see it's only two of them some routers have like 20 of these so it's very, very vanilla, I guess you can you know, want to call it. So that's pretty much the look at the uh, Linksys 9600. As you can see, and then this is what you get. Uh, you can actually click on these things, I think. And you can actually turn them off and on from here as well. Actually, yeah, this is showing me a few more that weren't shown here before. Um, I went ahead and reset it again to make sure it was working. So I'm still playing with this. I'm still trying to make sure it's working correctly. But those are the problems I ran into. These are like apps. Not apps, but uh, I forget what they call them. Anyway, um, that's pretty much that, and here is the app that you download, and you can actually check this from anywhere, like they say, which is kind of neat if you need to do something on it. Um, you cannot access your connected USB hard drive uh, from outside, though, as far as what they have set up. Um, that's one thing I noticed so uh, it may be good or it may be bad depending if you want it if you're someone who wants to use it from outside it's kind of slow anyway but if not then it's just secure because nobody has access you can't even access it from outside yourself unless you set something else up um, let's see here so that's pretty much everything on the uh, Lexus 9600. Try to think of anything else that I may be missing other than the support. They were pretty good about it on on their web, uh, Facebook page, or not their page, but just Facebook in general. They were really responsive. I tried doing the chat online. I, I didn't get anybody on there. And actually, it's only Tuesday, and that was early in the morning it was like around 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. I forget but um, so I wasn't able to get anybody on there I just didn't want to wait too long anyway so I went ahead and did that and I got that squared away so for the most part it's been working um, I did have a couple of uh, bumps along the way just like any new router um, you're gonna uh, have a few of those. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Um, some of the things are in different places where you normally you see here. Uh, 
see like the administration is under connectivity instead of admin administration here so that's kind of just one of those things that it's it's not very um, what do you call it intuitive if you just gotta kind of dig it out it's not that bad but some things are a little uh, out of place um, so it's taking me a while to get used to it but there you go that's pretty much it on this uh, router and I hope that helps a little bit um, alright talk to you guys later